This is Andy Schaefer's at Acuity with a quick video on hole making. Specifically, I'll discuss spot drilling and drilling using the hole making commands. We have some customers that are using the spot drilling command and then copying and pasting that, assigning a different tool and using it for drilling. And while that works, the spot drilling and drilling commands are actually not the same. There are some additional parameters and options in drilling that are very useful. So I want to go through all of that with you and explain then that that copy and paste workflow, uh, while it might be successful, might not be the most efficient way to get your, your uh, job done. So let's start here at the workpiece so you can see how this is set up. Specifically, uh, the, the blank you can see is uh, a billet and this coved area here is not machined out at this time. So that material still exists. Let's create our first operation and this will be our spot drill. I'll pick up a quarter inch center drill. And the first thing we must do then is select the feature geometry. So I'll select the two holes and as I do so they appear here in the list. If I want to re-highlight the first hole I just click it here in the list. You can see something kind of odd here that while the second hole uh, appears as we might expect up here at the top of the hole, at the top of the blank, the this hole is doing something different. It's down deeper in the material and in fact what NX does is look at the highest point of the hole and that's what it calls Z0. Then how does it get that depth? That's this number right here. It's just sort of a default that the spot drilling command uses uh, with English units. So if I want to change that, I can do that right here with the uh, predefined depth. I'll make a change to 50,000, so it'll be just half the depth it is now. And so you can see quickly then that those cones become smaller. And where does it get the angle of the cone? It's actually deriving that from the tool that's been assigned, and you see that listed here. But perhaps more importantly than that is what is the logic that caused it to begin its drilling down here at the top of the hole when we might want to drill from the top of the blank. That is this setting at the very top, the in-process workpiece. It's currently set to local and I want to change that to use 3D. Then you see both of those holes pop up to the top of the blank and that's probably what we would use in this situation. So that's the key understanding of how NX thinks about these holes is using either the, the 3D or the local for the in-process workpiece. Now I just want to point out a couple of things before we continue uh, and we will want to compare this spot drilling command to the drilling command here in a minute. So the geometry that we have available to us in spot drilling is just we've got the, the bottom of the hole which really isn't that useful to us and then of course the, the uh, cylinder faces then we don't really see any information here in the centered hole about the hole itself in terms of a diameter or depth. Uh, it's just saying it's a, it's a centered hole. So it's a very simple object. Okay, let's, using these settings, then we'll click OK and generate. And there's our toolpath. All right, now let's continue. We'll create operation again, but this time we go to drilling. Choose a different tool. and I'll select that geometry once again. However, because we've already selected it once, if I go to the machining feature navigator, you see that those are already assigned then as a pocket, step one pocket. So as I move into the screen, um, it's easier to pick that geometry because it's already been defined as a whole. All right, now we see those here in our list, uh, the same situation applies. We select them in the list to see them highlight on the screen. And once again, that first hole is defined from the highest point of the hole down from there. So to change that, we would come back here again to use 3D. And now it uses the top of the blank, not the top of the geometry. But a, a couple of things that we can notice here that are differences between spot drilling and drilling is there are additional options and parameters available to us. Besides just faces bottom and faces cylinder, we have an additional object type. We can uh, just machine down to the model depth, which in this case is gonna give us the same result, but that's often 
uh, useful. Then we're actually deriving information from the hole geometry itself, and it's appearing here, for instance, the depth of the hole. If I don't want to use this, I can click and say user defined, and then it would like let me uh, type my own depth in. And again, here's the tip angle that's coming straight from, from the tool. One other thing that's been added that we don't have in spot drilling is uh, you can either drive your tool point from the tip or from, from the shoulder of the tool here. All right, let's click OK and we'll generate our holes. So I hope that was helpful to you. The, just to review, we discussed the difference in hole making between the spot drilling and the drilling commands and the very important difference in IPW between local and use 3D. Thanks for watching.